Aloha, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, John, founder of the Celsius Lightworker Organization, T Flow. And here we go. Discussion number eight. Today, I'm going to talk about a little bit about about the the nature of of the light the light work in everyday situations, and then and then a bunch of random fun stuff about black holes and physics and time and space and going beyond time and space. And and I'm also going to talk a little bit about the chakras, chakra activation, the seven churches of the body, the kingdom of heaven, suggesting that all of the royal subjects and everybody else, the townspeople, and the farms and everything is is the environment in which one one pro projects words in order to tap into specific uh, fields of 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 you know information or the matrix and, and so here we go starting off with a few points about light work. Um, remember these type of viewing modes while you're doing like class D light work just in a, in a in an environment or even class C or 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 class B where you're imagining certain types of targets. Uh, consider that what I call the matrix viewing mode, is taken from the matrix trilogy, where you just imagine for a moment that everything is these. These these bright fluctuations and and transitions of light and and you know like the matrix number sequences and 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 so everything has some form but it's all different beings that they're kind of light beings. Another viewing mode uh, you could go try this out. You go into sort of two dimension and and you visualize everything like it's a painting and paint over with your finger. Imagine painting swirls of light because the light and, and the the repetition of the positive words or you know high vibratory language and sound it's it's wonderful. And and then there's also the uh, the the polar magnetic mode where you, you visualize kind of the earth and visualize the the bright light, the, the field strong and powerful, and and our Earth Mother is is completely healthy and and she's happy. Always taking into consideration the nature of of emotions, and being that only I I can uh, you know determine and experience my own emotion. Thereby, which you know it's impossible for me to you know attempt to infiltrate somebody else's emotion or go out of body or you know try to be empathetic you know somehow it's just you know try to be the source of that love and allow God the light to, to, to kind of be in the space enter in and so this created God from the mind you know it's it's created in sort of the pineal gland um, visualization uh, and then presuming that it's, it's, it's out there and can be there and but what happens is it's a process of faith indeed like any religion you know this is Tiklo this is the Celsius Light Worker Organization baby and and so you know it's it's a matter of increasing one's karmic potential uh, during you know one's incarnation and uh, applying certain religious principles like at our organization where you know we've got we've got this belief and you know, we can experience the feelings and joy of that uh, uh, go along with light work like beaming light allows angels and spirits into the space uh, ancestor spirits that can help direct guide anything. Uh, the surprises come. I mean, I, I walk around and I have everything I need. I 
I have everything. I, I don't have, have anything I don't need. In other words, I let go of stuff too, whether it's physical objects or information. Just, just let it go, man. And fortunately, in, like I said, it's as easy as employing these key words and mantras and speaking whatever you want. So you got your three I, you got your one big I. It's sort of some a portal almost because it allows one to access another uh, sense or another dimension, like the dimension of smell or sound, something different. So here's a set of five principles to live by. Uh, thanks for staying with me and 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 listening uh, because it's kind of fun, you know, on Sunday to go into the third dimension and do a little gossip or I consider this like political stuff because as usual in my disclosures I believe that, that the, doing the light work itself for like the 10 minutes of this video uh, it, it would be more more uh, effective at improving one general lifestyle and feelings but it's always fun to talk you know and hang out and, and thanks for your comments by the way and special viewers like uh, my mom and thank you mom and thank you thank you Jason from Illinois man light workers blasting man blasting so here's here's five uh, five key points apparently persons places and people change and end point one point two they go according to the plans of my universal dad and mom suggesting that there is indeed a cosmic mother and father uh, represented sometimes as the earth and the sun or the sun and the moon and point three life in bliss is living in a kingdom that is a sense perceptive biological life form so me I can perceive I'm a sense perceptive biological life form and I'm capable of interacting with different vibrations and light frequencies and and also projecting specific images into into the hologram that is the matrix okay so four when I listen to my cosmic parents I am that I am in other words they could take complete care of me whether it's a dog barking that might represent the father, cosmic father, dog barking to warn me to go somewhere else, or maybe the mo my mo the cosmic mother letting it rain so that I'm to move somewhere else, and just listening to these simple cues, you know, and, and maybe even listening to something that I am turned off by, and it's a certain vibration, thinking about that and just moving where I'm comfortable, listening to my body too. Uh, I become that, that, um, that, I become that I am that I am that the Bible represents, uh, you know, it's, it's like, it's me, it's my feelings, it's every, I, I'm the only person I know to exist, frankly. So, finally, number five point, uh, my cosmic parents are perfect. As long as I think of them with the field and accept what is given and taken from me, as long as I recognize that they are playing the roles of mom and dad through these various mediums, suggesting that that my cosmic parents are perfect as long as I see them as parent, parents and apply these these labels to any given what so to review uh, pause and repeat so now it's for some fun stuff ready how about some non-local non-linear Zoroastrian time how about DMT appears to release light by piezoluminescence, so DMT. If piezoelectricity were to exist in the pineal gland, uh, which is a calcite microcrystal, and an electromechanical coupling mechanism, 
to external electromagnetic fields may be possible through biological transduction, suggesting that uh, although a rock may not have consciousness, it can certainly conduct it. Thereby, uh, I can, you know, everything becomes alive. Almost ready. Almost ready. So DMT color shooting this chromism, the hardened and smashed DMT that scientists oh, yeah. use, emits massive colored light. <laughs> and the third, the third eye pulls in many more protons which might be emerging directly out of the source field. I mean, we're talking about the eye of Dagma in the Hindu religion. The power of Isis. The, all, <laughs> the power of Isis. The, the all-seeing all eye, the great dog, a.k.a. God. Zeus. Zeus, Powell. <laughs> uh, we're talking about the single eye of light is the body is the eye, I, so strange. <laughs> passing beyond, between conscious life forms. Oh, How about that? That's what I do on a daily basis. And I've been doing it for a very long time, suggesting for the moment that maybe it's fun to have time. Force fields are right light to angles. See, force fields are basically right white lights and certain angles you know it's we're talking about geometry for a moment here let's get into that uh, we're talking about quadratics you know, calculus true thoughts constantly interact with environments and anti-gravity dematerialization teleportation quantum geometry explaining how pieces of time can be encapsulized Natural vortex earth points where stuff disappears and tools seem to open it like we can somehow unlock this stuff by with our own perceptive abilities. Well, check this out. The geometry of the earth is is, uh, is a certain, I think it's called a, a, a decahedron or something. Basically, the earth is a grid and it can be tapped into using class B light work obviously. But but the grid itself, it uh, you know, it, it actually it actually is able to to create these certain phenomena like teleportation and all kinds of you know amazing stuff. And not that I'm in I I'm interested in now right now you know being here now, which may sometimes involve time travel if it's a safe event, but. Who knows, you know? I mean, check out my, my favorite videos. The, the Pleiadians, they, they, you know, they've gotten into time travel. I'll, I'll add you guys a link so you can check it out for fun. Well, what we're looking at to conclude is the chakras and activating them. And as I always say, I've experienced that all of this can be a process done alone. And the Celsius Lacquer Organization only employs men as light workers. Women can be members, but I'd like to uh, classify the the differences between men and women in that 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 um you know I believe in I believe in the roles that uh, uh, the traditional roles, if you will, that men and women have the potential to play. And so I'd like to. Maybe I'd like to thank women for taking great care of their selves physically and, and just providing an appealing inspiration. And and here's something funny. I actually have made a conclusion on strip clubs. My conclusion is that uh, I like to watch women, but as long as they're wearing like a face mask or something, so you can't make eye contact with them. And I like watching them on stage. I mean, why try to? Casually, occasionally glance at, at a woman's ass like if you're riding a bus when you can go into a strip club and enjoy the full experience. And so, finally, marriage. Well, I believe I'm already married. I always have been. I have a soulmate, and we travel through time together, and we reunite, and I believe that she is my bride, and I believe that the only way to determine that is, is by by astrological and numerology, Chinese zodiacal uh, compatibility system. So, love you guys.
Thanks for being here. Check out the link below. Let's have some fun.